I'm doing it again. In a way, I'm restarting my YouTube channel again. <laughs> Having a YouTube channel has been on my mind for so, so long. And I, uh, I did start it, then I kind of, I wasn't inconsistent. I was inconsistent, then I kind of started again, then <clears throat> things kind of fell apart. And I think it's been that also overwhelmed, which get, you know what I suffer also from, what is it that I want to share on my YouTube channel? I am very active on the other platforms and I do live videos, I share stories, I do reels, TikToks and all that jazz, but I don't, I think with YouTube, I just didn't feel the vibe in terms of, I just don't feel, I, I, I'm sharing what I want to share. And maybe sometimes I think it's good to let it go. And um, I was away for almost a month on the other side of the world in beautiful New Zealand. And I think it helped me to almost like a pause, reflect and think about, okay, how do I want to make my YouTube channel not yet another thing that you hear the same thing all over again, just by different person. I just wanted to be, of course, authentic, of course, relatable. But I also want to share the parts of my journey along the way as I grow. And I think in a way I regret I didn't start like four years ago when I kind of embarked on this entrepreneurial journey and now look back and see how far I've come. But hey, how content back time. But I do have some old videos I could maybe, maybe share. Uh, <laughs> when I watch them, it's a bit cringy. But I'm doing it again. I'm kind of, I've got things in my mind that I want to share and how do I want to make this channel different. And obviously being me, it's already different because everyone's unique. Yes, I know that. But that's not enough for you to subscribe. So what is it that I want to share here in this channel? Obviously, all the aspects on the journey, on the entrepreneurial journey that I've embarked, starting from, you know, what is it that, uh, you know, sets my soul on fire? It's marketing stuff, um, marketing stuff when it comes to content creation, uh, different techniques to generate leads. And, you know, how do you actually get visible? You know, all that marketing stuff uh, its always, always been something I've been interested in. Since I was a young, young girl, I studied marketing as well. And I, all my corporate kind of career, um, there was marketing and sales involved as well. So I'm a marketing geek. I love that stuff. So definitely, definitely you will hear some of the marketing stuff here, stuff that has worked for me, for my clients and stuff you should know as well. Another thing that I want to incorporate into this channel that has made a huge difference to my business is money. And basically that attitude towards money. It is so important if you want to, you know, hit the certain levels in terms of your financial freedom, you need to know I love money. If money has to be one of your values as well. And at the beginning, it wasn't because I, I felt it was like, I can't say that money is one of my highest values. Hell yeah, it is. So I want to share some stuff around money, around attitude towards money. And um, also, nothing what I have done wouldn't be possible if I have not worked on this piece my mindset. So obviously there will be mindset related stuff. So marketing money and mindset. Now there's one thing I was debating whether to throw in. Obviously I don't want to make it kind of um, a bit messy, chaotic, but I am a mom and there has been, my girls are, now I'm getting emotional. <clears throat> Should I edit? Shouldn't I? <laughs> oh, no, I'll leave it. My girls are my guiding force and I even got them all the time with me. So I've got their fingerprints on those hearts here. So things around motherhood and running a business, I think it will be worth to share here. And also, you know, how I see, because obviously being entrepreneur, I, I don't necessarily want my kids to be an entrepreneur if they don't want to, but I want them to understand the power of their mindset and the power of 
determination, discipline, consistency in certain aspects of life. Um, but I will talk about all this stuff that, you know, are some of my pet peeves when it comes to being a mom. Um, not about kids, but about things that is available or not available for, for kids nowadays. So obviously YouTube allows me to have like a playlist. So obviously I'll sort it as a different place. So actually if, you know, motherhood doesn't interest you, um, you, you maybe it's not for you. Obviously there will be marketing minds and the money channels as well, not channels, playlist because it's on, on, on one channel. It is me. It is me, marketing geek who loves money, who loves working on them, on her mindset, but who's a mum? So I think, and it's amazingly, it all starts with M and my name starts with M. So I think it's almost like meant to be. So I'm not going to rambling any longer. If that's something you want to hear more about, if you if you're a bit curious, you know what new stuff I'm going to share. I'm leaving all the old stuff there because again, it's a part of my journey. So in a way, I want to kind of reflect back what the cha what changes I've made. Then you know tap that subscribe button and look. If after a while you decide, eh, no, she's not for me. Look, there's unsubscribe button as well. Although I would love you to stay because I promise you. I'm going to share stuff that um, it's not going to be boring to listen or unuseful to listen. Um, so if that's something for you, tap that subscribe button and I will see you very soon on the new videos. And I am making commitment here openly that I'm going to post one video a week. There might be more, but I definitely want to stick to minimum one week. That's commitment because I haven't done it for a while. So I think one a week will be good kickstarter so i'll see you on the next video